Greetings from Pongrid Designs. This is the presentation of the first draft for your house in Goa. We will be presenting two options, explaining the placement of the room and the idea behind it. So here we go. This is the option one, the ground floor of option one. As you can see, there is an entrance one and an entrance two. The entrance one is at the west side of the road, beside the eight meter wide road. The entrance two is on the north side of the site, beside the six meter wide road. Coming back to entrance one, your cars can be entering from here and be parked towards the north and one car can be parked towards the south. The advantage of this is that all the three cars are parked in one area or one part of the entire site. After parking the car, when you start walking towards the entrance of the house, you will see there is a wall running throughout the site. Now this wall is a feature wall with certain attractive punctures going through which makes it uh, which makes the area of the parking and the entrance to and the behind area towards the south make it look even more beautiful so the wall has a small opening here and here coming to this opening this is towards the entrance you can start walking from here this passage that you see can be designed beautifully making it even more attractive towards the entrance so when you come here you come across in front of the entrance too which will also have an uh, entrance to the house just in front of it. So when you come here, here you can see steps which shows that the entrance is elevated. When you walk climb the steps, you come to the entrance foyer measuring 14 feet by 6 feet. The two furnitures that you can see here can either be used as a shoe rack or a seating or both of them together making the entrance foyer usable for such kind of activities. As you walk inside from the entrance foyer towards the entrance lobby, you see the entrance lobby measures 14 feet 9 inches by 4 feet 11 inches. When you look ahead, there is a courtyard measuring 16 feet 5 inches by 8 feet. The courtyard also has a puja room that measures 3 feet by 3 feet. The courtyard and the entrance lobby are divided by a screen which is a feature component beautifying the entrance lobby from the front. That is as soon as you open the door you can see a beautiful element in front and also beautifies the courtyard from inside thereby making both the spaces look even more attractive. From the entrance lobby when you walk towards the east, that is towards the living area, the you come to the living area having a uh, measuring 20 feet 5 inches by 11 feet 6 inches which has a seating of 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1. So all together 8 people can be seat sitting at a time in the living area with the side tables as you can see and a center table with a carpet below. The living area also has a corner window giving it a view of the road that is towards the northeast a view of the road and the uh, rare part of the site. From the living area when you start walking towards the dining area you can see the uh, dining area is for six people to be sitting at a time. Also it has a kitchen right in front that after the dining area when you enter 9 feet 6 inches by 9 feet 2 inches is the kitchen. After coming out from the kitchen, when you start walking towards the right, you see a staircase. This is a U-shaped staircase and the arrow shows the starting point that is from the ground floor. You will be walking in this direction towards the first floor. This is about the U-shaped staircase. After coming out from the kitchen, when you walk straight towards the right, you enter the first bedroom of the house. That is bedroom by measuring 12 feet by 10 feet 3 inches. Now this bedroom has an attached toilet that measures 5 feet 5 inches by 6 feet 9 inches. The bedroom has been given a provision of a TV unit in front, a 2 feet wide wardrobe with two side tables and a window behind it. As you walk towards the left and you come out of the bedroom, you again uh, connect yourself to the common areas of the ground floor that is the dining area and the living area. So this is how the ease of circulation happens throughout the ground floor. This was about the interiors of the ground floor. Coming back to the entrance uh, that is in this part that is towards the north of the side. When you walk towards the east that is extreme right and you then start walking towards the south that is towards the upwards of the side. You come uh, 
to a uh, staircase that has an external access. Now this staircase can be used by the people you plan to give the studio on rent for them. So they do not hinder the privacy of the ground floor and the first floor and they directly reach the second floor that is the one having the studios. This was about the ground floor. It is designed with the logic such that all the main areas where people are going to be spending maximum of their time is uh, having natural light and ventilation provision uh, at all the times as you can see and a cross ventilation which is uh, uh, increased by the placement of the courtyard in the middle. So the ventilation is carried out throughout the interiors of the ground floor. Moving on to the Coming to the first floor, now starting from the staircase, that is a U-shaped staircase, that is an internal one. So the arrow shows where you'll be starting from and this is how you'll enter the first floor. As you can see, this dotted line behind, this is for you to go to the second floor directly without entering the first floor. So this leads you to the second floor, which gives you an advantage of having a connection to the second floor without uh, hindering the privacy of the people staying in the second floor. So that is uh, being the owner of the house that you will be accessible to the second floor as well. That area can be like uh, kept locked that I'll be explaining when we go to the second floor. So just to explain this dotted line is the staircase that is a straight one going towards the uh, studio uh, apart that is the studio on the second floor coming to the first floor when you enter you come to a connecting passage a common passage connecting all the rooms so when you come here and you start walking towards the right of the side that is towards the west you come to bedroom one of the first floor the bedroom one measures 13 feet 6 inches by 14 feet 5 inches this bedroom has been given a provision of the bed two side tables a kind of a bench in the front of the bed which helps uh, for the seating and a wardrobe two feet wide running throughout the bedroom thereby making more space available for storage this bedroom has an attached terrace that is four feet nine inches by nine feet six inches overlooking the uh, west part of the side that is the eight meter wide road giving it that view after you come from the terrace in the bedroom, you can see an attached toilet here that measures 7 feet 11 inches by 6 feet 3 inches. This was about the bedroom on the first floor, the first bedroom. As you come out, you see this black line shown around the courtyard is a railing which gives you a visual access that is helps you see the courtyard on the ground floor. So this part is double height from, from the ground floor, you can see on the first floor also. So that gives a visual connection to both the floors. Walking from the passage towards the north, you come to the bedroom 2 of the first floor. Now this bedroom is the one that has an attached walk-in closet and a toilet. So walking towards the bedroom, the, this one which measures 15 feet by 11 feet 4 inches has a chair and a side table with a small bench in front of the bed where it can be used for sitting and a carpet below with an attached terrace towards the north. The terrace measures 5 feet by 12 feet 6 inches. This terrace is overlooking the north side of the side that is the 6 meter wide road. Now when you come inside from the terrace towards the bedroom and you start walking straight towards the south, this is the walk-in closet that measures 10 feet 8 inches by 6 feet 3 inches. From the walk-in closet, when you walk towards the toilet, it measures 9 feet 6 inches by 10 feet 9 inches, this by this. Then when you come out of the toilet and you walk towards the outside of the bedroom, that is towards this passage 6 meter wide, you come and you walk straight towards the north, towards the downward part, you encounter a bigger passage that is 7 feet 7 inches wide. So this entire area is a completely family space. This is the interior, this is the uh, outside area, that is a terrace having a connection of the interiors with the exteriors. The terrace measures, the big terrace measures 24 feet 4 inches by 6 feet. From the terrace when you walk inside, this is the area where the family can be relaxing and sitting. So the family area measures 15 feet by 14 feet 5 inches which has a 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 sitting. That is 8 people can be sitting at a time in the family area with the side tables and the center table and the carpet below. 
Now this can be used as a TV unit or a credenza which adds as a feature element uh, visible to the entire family area sitting in front. So this was about the uh, first floor. As you can see behind here an external staircase access here. This external staircase is connecting all the floor only it doesn't open on the first floor it opens directly to the second floor. Moving on to this. So this is the second floor. Starting from the external access of the external staircase, this is where uh, the people you are going to give it to rent will be staying. Is when you start from here, the arrow shows the starting point of the staircase and you enter here in this direction. You enter a lobby that measures 9 feet 10 inches by 13 feet 10 inches. This by this. As you walk straight from the lobby, there is a common connecting passage connecting both the studios. This is studio 1 and this is studio 2. So this is about the external staircase. This, this is a staircase that has an internal access. As you can see, this one continues to your first floor and the ground floor below. This is for the owner to access all the three floors and this area can be kept locked, maintaining the privacy of the second floor and then thereby not allowing them to hinder the privacy of the ground floor and the first floor. So this area either can be kept open or locked as per the situation or provides or claims. So when you enter from this connecting passage towards the extreme right, that is towards the west, you come to studio 1. The studio 1 has a living room. When you walk straight here, the living room 10 feet 3 inches by 11 feet. This is how much it measures. From the living room, when you come towards the left is the kitchen that is 8 feet 5 inches by 6 feet 9 inches. Now living room and the kitchen are divided by this small dining area in between that has two seatings. So the uh, advantage of this open clear layout is that the kitchen can be used for cooking and immediately served here, either here or people can also use this area. So that is the living room having 2 plus 2 seating at a time 4 people can sit in this area. From the living room when you walk towards the south, that is the uh, walk-in closet that is accessible from the living room that measures 5 feet by 5 feet 6 inches. And then when you go in the more interiors towards the north, that is a toilet that measures 5 feet by 6 feet 9 inches. Coming out from the toilet and the walk-in closet, when you walk towards the left, that is towards the east, you come to the bedroom of the studio that has 11 feet 6 inches by 12 feet 9 inches in measurement. This bedroom has an attached terrace that is overlooking the north part of the site. So the terrace measures a huge one, 17 feet 6 inches by 5 feet 11 inches. This is the measurement of the terrace. From the terrace when you walk towards the bedroom inside and you come out of the studio 1 to the connecting passage, here you enter the studio 2. Now this studio has as soon as you enter, this is an entrance lobby. This furniture can be used either as a seating or a shoe rack or both. Then when you enter and you go towards the left, this is the kitchen that is measuring 14 feet by 5 feet 6 inches with the uh, fridge as well inside. This is the kitchen area which is uh, semi-private. It has a bit privacy and a bit openness as well connecting the living and dining area. So the kitchen and dining area as you see are diagonally connected making it easy for cooking and then serving here. The living area, uh, so the living and dining both together measure 16 feet 11 inches by 9 feet 6 inches. The living area is for uh, 2 plus 2 seating that is 4 people can sit at a time with the center table and the side table. From the living and dining area when you start walking towards the right is the toilet first that is measuring a common toilet 14 feet 7 inches by 6 feet 9 inches. This is the measurement of this toilet and when you walk straight towards the right towards the end of the studio you come to the bedroom measuring 11 feet 4 inches by 10 feet 3 inches. So this is a bed with two side tables and a, a unit in front which can either be a TV unit or sorry which is a wardrobe that is two feet wide. Attached to the bedroom is a terrace below again overlooking the north part of the site that is six meter wide road you'll be looking uh, having a look at from this terrace that measures 11 feet by 3 feet 9 inches. So when you come out of this uh, studio, that is a studio 2, you again come to the connecting passage and this courtyard below here is not accessible to the people staying in the uh, studios. 
thereby maintaining the privacy of both the areas that is the second floor and the ground and the first floor keeping them separate so this was about your option one this is your option two the ground floor of option two as you can see here the two entrances again are maintained separate as it was mentioned in option one and as per your requirements so from the west here the cars will be entered they'll enter from here and be parked straight in this manner and the other two cars also can be parked side by side so all the three car parkings will happen in the same area giving it that advantage after parking the car when you start walking towards the north that is towards the downward part of the side to come across entrance two this is the second entrance from the north side that is beside the six meter wide road happening and when you walk a bit towards the left you come towards the entrance of the house again the staircase the stairs here show that the entrance is elevated as you climb the stairs and walk upwards you come towards the uh, entrance foyer that measures 11 feet 6 inches by 5 feet 4 inches with a furniture placed here which can either be used as a shoe rack or a seating or both so you uh, when you look ahead this is a courtyard so the courtyard measures 6 feet 5 inches by 8 feet and this is the puja room that is 3 feet by 3 feet as per your requirement. The courtyard and the entrance foyer are divided by a screen which is a feature element making the entrance foyer look attractive from outside thereby making the first impression of the house beautiful and the courtyard from inside. So from the entrance foyer when you walk towards the left that is the entrance lobby that measures 5 feet 9 inches by 10 feet 9 inches leading you towards the living area in the left that is measuring 20 feet by 15 feet 6 inches this living area has a seating of 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 that is uh, 8 people can be sitting at a time here with uh, two side table or three side tables and a center table and another side table here as well from the living area when you walk straight towards the south that is upward part of the uh, site you come across the dining area which has six seats that is six people can be sitting at a time in this dining area that measures 17 feet 5 inches by 8 feet this entire space from the dining area as you can see a staircase here the arrow shows the starting point towards the first floor this is in this direction you'll be walking towards the first floor this dining area come below these stairs so this is the um, the part that is aligned with the first floor the first floor and this stair aligned that is why the dining the seating come just below that so from the staircase when you come outside in this area from the dining area you when you walk straight towards the south you come to the kitchen the kitchen measures 16 feet by 8 feet 9 inches after the kitchen when you walk downwards towards the north and you come towards the extreme right you enter the bedroom the bedroom has a small lobby and then the room starts the bedroom measures 12 feet 6 inches by 8 feet 3 inches having a provision of a tv unit two side tables and a two feet wide wardrobe with a window behind it this bedroom also has an attached toilet that is 5 feet 5 inches by 6 feet 9 inches this is the bedroom one of the option two this was about the internals of the ground floor now coming back to the entrance from here after you park your vehicle here and you walk towards the south that is towards the top part of the site as you can see here this is the staircase that is with the external axis as explained in option one this starts from the ground floor and opens directly on the second floor without hindering the privacy of the ground and the first floor so the arrow shows the starting point and in this direction you'll be walking towards the second floor Again, the logic is maintained with having a cross ventilation, natural and a proper natural light ventilation as well, happening throughout the ground floor. Moving to the first floor. This is the first floor of option 2. So starting from the uh, internal staircase as explained in the ground floor as well, this is how you start and in this direction you enter the first floor. You step onto the lobby that is 10 feet 8 inches by 6 feet 7 inches. This is a common area connecting the family room and the passage. So when you walk straight uh, downward that is towards the north, you first you can see from the lobby a family room that measures 20 feet by 15 feet 6 inches. 
This family room has a 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1. And altogether, 8 people can be sitting at a time in the family room with side tables and a center table with a carpet below. From the family room, you can see the, uh, the black line is the screen. Again, a feature element that will beautify the family room and the lobby. This will be the height of the railing which will be, you can have a visual access or you can see down towards the courtyard on the ground floor. So from the first floor, you can see on the ground floor to the, uh, with the courtyard below through this uh, railing. That is a screen. So from the family room, when you start walking towards the right, extreme right you come to bedroom 2 the bedroom 2 has uh, the pro measures 13 feet 6 inches by 14 feet 5 inches with an attached terrace measuring 5 feet by 10 feet 9 inches 5 feet by 10 feet 9 inches this terrace is overlooking the west side of the side that is the 8 meter wide road giving it that view from the terrace when you come inside you can see the bedroom has been given a provision of a tv unit a small bench that is just in front of the bed which can be used for seating and two side tables with a chair and a side table there as well. From there, when you walk towards the north, you enter in the and walk start to in, walking towards the left. You come to toilet two, that is an attached toilet to the bedroom with the walk-in closet in the extreme left of the bedroom. Toilet two measures ten feet by six feet three inches, and when you walk straight, is the walk-in closet that measures six feet six inches by six feet three inches. Coming out of the toilet, when you uh, coming out of the toilet and you start walking towards the top, and then you come out of the bedroom too. Walk straight around the courtyard railing, and then you come to the bedroom three. The bedroom three measures 13 feet 6 inches by 14 feet 5 inches, having an attached terrace that is same on the same measurement as the terrace number two attached to bedroom two. That is 5 feet by 10 feet 9 inches, again overlooking the west side of the side, that is the 8 meter wide road. From the terrace, when you enter inside, you see the bedroom is given a provision of two side tables, a TV unit in front, a small bench here, and this is the chair and the side table. So this has an attached toilet that uh, measures 9 feet 11 inches by 6 feet 3 inches with a walk-in closet. The walk-in closet will have the wardrobe that measures 6 feet 6 inches by 6 feet 3 inches. When you come out and you come straight, as you can see, this is a credenza placed here which can be added as a feature element, beautifying uh, the areas connected to it, that is the passage, the lobby and it is visible from the family room as well. Walking downwards and when you enter to the utility room here to the extreme left, that is towards the east, this is the utility room measuring 11 feet by 6 feet 9 inches 11 feet by 6 feet 9 inches the same logic is man uh, maintained here with the window placement maintaining the cross ventilation of the entire interior of the house as well as allowing the natural light to lighten up the areas inside uh, coming to the bedrooms if you can see there are two windows behind the side table and the terrace placed here so this allows in the cross ventilation covering the entire bedroom and likewise for bedroom 2 also with the same logic as you can see here the this is the staircase on top that is externally uh, connecting the ground floor and the second floor so this doesn't have any access to the first floor this is completely locked to the first floor and is not accessible to it so this was about the uh, staircase with an external access and this was the option for the first floor moving on to the second floor This is the second floor of option 2. So this will have the main entrance from the external staircase that the staircase that has an external access. As you can see the arrow shows the starting point and from here you will be entering onto the studio. As you enter the studio you will be having the lobby. The big lobby that measures 18 feet by 10 feet 3 inches connecting uh, having a connection to both the studios. When you walk towards the extreme right, you come into Studio 1 that has a lobby here, uh, a lobby and then you walk towards the extreme right, you have a living room that measures 11 feet by 10 feet 3 inches. 
The living room has a 2 plus 2 seating that means at the time 4 people can sit here with a center table and a side table. When you walk towards the left there is a kitchen that measures 5 feet by 6 feet 9 inches. Now as you can see the kitchen and the living room are divided by a dining table here, a small table which is uh, not exactly a dining table but two people can sit and can have their food here. So as soon as the food is cooked here can immediately be served here and they can carry out the process easily. So coming back to the living room, when you walk straight towards the north, that is downwards, this is the walk-in closet happening with the wardrobe, 3 feet by wardrobe and here inside is the toilet. Coming out of the toilet, when you walk towards the living room, towards the bedroom, this is the bedroom 4 of the house, it measures 11 feet 6 inches by 12 feet 9 inches. The bedroom 4 has a, a connecting terrace that is 7 feet 6 inches by 6 feet. This is the terrace overlooking the north side that is a 6 meter wide road. When you come out of the uh, studio 1, you enter this passage connecting studio 2. Now as soon as you enter the studio 2, this has a kitchen uh, that is on the extreme left side that measures 11 feet by 5 feet 3 inches. Then a living and a dining room that measures uh, 17 feet by 9 feet 6 inches. So this living room as you can see has a 2 plus 2 seating with a center table and a side table. And this is a dining uh, table for 3 people. As you walk towards the extreme, uh, towards the right, you see a toilet here, a common toilet for the entire studio. And towards the uh, extreme right is of the studio is the bedroom 5. So the bedroom 5 has a provision of the bed with side tables and a wardrobe in front with an attached terrace measuring 11 feet 4 inches by 4 feet. Now this terrace overlooks towards the north side of the road measuring 6 meter wide, uh, overlooking the 6 meter wide road. From the terrace when you walk towards the bedroom and you come outside, in the living room you can see this also has an attached terrace, a huge terrace that is 25 feet 7 inches by 12 feet 8 inches and it has a 5 feet wide passage. So this was about the two terraces, all the three terraces of the studio overlooked towards the north side of the site that is a 6 meter wide road. The internals of this as well follow the logic of having a cross ventilation uh, and a natural light entering uh, enabling an ease of living in the interiors of the area. This was explained from the uh, staircase having an external axis. As you can see this staircase is the one that has an internal axis that is connecting the ground and the first floor. This is for the owner to have a look at the to enter the second floor. This is the connecting uh, lobby to the internal axis. So this part can be kept locked when people staying here are staying on rent. So the privacy of people staying on the studio also is maintained and also the people staying on the ground and the first floor also is maintained. Thereby separating the two areas, yet connecting them. That is just about the matter of this door being locked or being opened. So these were the two options presented, uh, option one and option two. So a small request you would like to do, like you all to uh, do is that uh, please have a discussion with your family and let us know your opinion within uh, two or three days so we can proceed with the uh, procedures ahead. Thank you.